What does it mean to be a business unit manager at Vinci Energies? To find out, I'm here to meet Nick Chambers. He manages Actemium Birmingham, which is a business unit of Vinci Energies. Good morning, Actemium. Hi there, it's Tim here. Thank you. Hi Tim. It's Nick, yeah? Yeah, nice. Right, thanks for having me. I mean, do you mind telling me just very quickly, just top line, what is it that Actemium do? Uh, we work in uh, automotive. Okay. Uh, so we work in production facilities mostly, helping provide services to our clients who essentially just want to uh, manufacture and assemble vehicles. Okay. So what kind of services? Uh, electrical installation services. Uh, we provide installation of, of data networks, right. cabling. Um, also, we have a niche software. Can we have a little look yeah, around? Yeah, by all means, yeah, I'll take Brilliant. you through. So Nick, you said the company was 60 people, is that right? Yeah, it's approximately 60 people. And they're all based here, are they? So they're uh, all... No, it'll be about 40 on site every day. How do you become a business unit manager? Is there like a standard route that you follow? Or... Not really, no, there's, uh, there's different routes. Um, we can have business unit managers who started life as a, an electrical operative. We can have those that were project managers who right. were showing the capability to progress. Right, okay. Uh, I joined the business 2007. Okay. Um, came from a previous organisation. Right. Uh, and I joined the business to establish what is the, the software aspect of, right. of Actemium. Okay. My background's mechanical, uh, and, okay. I'm, and I'm managing a, essentially right. an electrical and software business. Okay, so which you just is need a, to know that you have the right people around you, I You suppose. need the right people <laughs> to strengthen where you're weak. Oh, okay, right. It's a fast-paced business. Yeah. It is always a challenge um, to, to break out and add new customers. I mean, most recently we're talking to one of our clients about energy efficiency. Right. And we're using the expertise of the brand, the Actemium brand, right. to bring that into the UK okay. to provide that consultation to our core customers because it, it does not exist in this business unit today. So Len is actually helping out. He's making a small change on a telematic system we have in, uh, right. in Japan. Okay. So there's a small change taking place there. Wes at the moment is, um, is talking to a customer that's, uh, that's in China. Right, okay. Um, Other side of the world. They're making a, a change to their, sequ their test sequence, a new vehicle. Great, cool. So, can we take a little look yeah, upstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Ah, so this is where the magic happens, is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. These engineers are with their customers every day. Okay. So if they see an opportunity that may be slightly different to what we already do, right. then they will actively um, yeah. pursue that. Right. After a conversation with me to make sure strategically it's not too far from the path that we want to follow. Is there such thing as an average day for you? No, not really. No. Um, okay. I, have a, I have a personal action list that I, need, I want to achieve and I need to achieve. Okay. Invariably, I don't achieve that because okay. uh, the direction of the day will, will not be what you expect. And do you enjoy that? I do. Yeah. Uh, it's hard work. The positive is that you are running your own business. You are in. Yeah. You are con controlling your destiny, the direction you take the business. Wow! So it sounds as if there's a real sense of like entrepreneurialism. Then it's a core value of that team is entrepreneurialism, okay. and it's exactly that. It's yeah. it's having a nose for business, having okay. a nose to find new business. Okay, come on in. Thank you very much. This is a Vinci Energies building. This is head office, a support office, right. the nerve centre for all the business units in the UK. Does it help knowing that you have, I guess, the broader support base when you do yeah. go out for kind of bigger work, you well, know that you've got that? Does that help? It helps you sell because right. you can, with true honesty and transparency in front of your customers, you can, you can talk to them about the stability and the history of the group. And the size. Uh, and, the and the size and, and, the, and the financial security to give the customer confidence that we'll yeah. achieve their Okay. project milestones. You drive your business the way you need to drive your okay. business and I'm, I'm running my own business, yeah. it's just not my bank account. Okay, well thanks very much for having me, I know no you're problem. a busy man, so appreciate your time. Alright, all the best, thanks, bye. bye.